Oranges are a common sight here in Southwest Florida, but you may see fewer of them as one of the largest growers in the area, Alico, decided they're shutting down their citrus growing department. I'm Fox 4's Anvar Vruziev, and I came here to find out why they're putting a stop to the orange growing operations. Florida and citrus, they used to go hand in hand, but those days could soon be over. A major citrus grower is calling it quits. For decades, Alico, a Fort Myers company, has been a major player in Florida's citrus industry. Last year, Alico produced nearly 15 million pounds of citrus, most of which was sold to Tropicana for juice production. But the company is now halting its citrus production and reallocating its land. The company's CEO, John Kiernan, told us that the crop is no longer economically viable due to damage from recent hurricanes and a devastating disease called citrus greening. It's a devastating disease that is transmitted by an insect from tree to tree. That insect is the Asian citrus psyllid, a bug smuggled in from tree clipping in the early 2000s. The sapsucker attacks the leaves and stems and prevents fruit from ripening, leaving it small, bitter, and green in color. Alico says it's a major reason for why they will be stopping production and laying off over 170 employees. But Dr. Lucas Stalinsky and his team at the University of Florida are developing a solution, a genetically modified tree that produces a protein to specifically kill the insect. This protein binds in the gut or stomach of the insect, it binds to the stomach and it creates holes in the stomach. It just makes the insect stomach kind of into Swiss cheese. The protein isn't just fatal to the insect. It also has a long-term impact on the bug's ability to spread the disease. The psyllids that feed on those trees can't reproduce, making it nearly impossible for the disease to spread further. To humans, however, Dr. Stalinsky says the protein would be harmless. It's much safer than the pesticides that we spray, which are toxins, which do hurt other animals. You know, the, the, whereas, whereas this would be a much more sustainable way that, that would not affect, um, you know, um, birds or um, frogs in, in, in living in and around citrus groves. Now, Dr. Stalinsky tells us that they still need to field test their genetically modified trees, and that process will take at least two years. In Immokalee, Anvar Ruziev, Fox 4.